Hello, everyone. Sorry, it, it took me a while, but I finally managed to upload another video. <clears throat> anyway, as you can see, I'm attempting to tame a Megalania. Sorry, I pronounced that wrong. <clears throat> but I heard that these are one of the toughest things to tame because their unconsciousness or torpor goes down like really really fast but as you'll soon see this tame was a success <clears throat> and for any of others who may be wondering how to tame a megalina but can't seem to find like any videos with any tips or tricks <clears throat> There really is no tip or trick to this team, except a few things. One, I got, as you can see, a mutton. <clears throat> I had to bring about five mutton and for this team, and if you're going to attempt this team, I'd recommend bringing like a little over 300 narcotics, and that's only if you're going to try and tame it with raw mutton. If not, then you're going to need to make, like, a lot more. To be safe, I'd go with, like, maybe a thousand narcotics. And this tame took me a long while. My previous attempts to try and tame a Megalania weren't so successful. You can probably guess. <clears throat> Sorry. I tried to tame a Megalania that was, like, silverish in color. But no matter how many times I shot some Trank arrows at it, it just would not go down. So, I ended up getting bitten a few times and had to retreat. Ended up dying. And having to do the whole thing over again. Yeah. So, I decided to go for a bit of a lower level Megalania. And that would be this one. I believe it's a level 41 or something. And. Ah, I named it. What was his name again? Ah, I named him Megamoto. Oh. Yeah. I don't know how I came up with that. <clears throat> anyway. It, this tame took a lot of preparation. Because this Megalania was in a very dangerous area. There were saber tigers, hyenodons, carnos, and, oh yeah, an allosaurus. Not to mention a bunch of other megalanias as well. Ugh. The first time I tried to prep for this, <clears throat> I had to move away the allosaurus, kill some of the sabers, and even some of the, some of the carnos. <clears throat> <clears throat> Let's see. I think this was my fifth attempt trying to tame this Megalania. Just when I thought I almost had it, some saber tooth tiger spawned out of the bushes and killed it right then and there. Um, yeah. That was irritating. So, I ended up having to. What did I have to do again? I think I either had to restart the game, and try all over again. <clears throat> anyway, this tame took me a long while. But I finally got it. Thanks to that mutton, there was a sheep hanging near my base, and, said, and I told myself I would only kill that sheep for its mutton if I was going to go after a really really tough tame, like maybe a Spinosaurus or an Allosaurus, one of those, <clears throat> but, <clears throat> but this was also on the list, wait wait, not an Allosaurus, um, a Mosasaurus, yeah, but this Megalania was definitely on my list of tough, of tough tames I wanted to get. After the Megalania, 
I... <sighs> Maybe it's a team like... An Iquis? You know, one of those horses that's in the game? <clears throat> that was rather tricky. But not impossible. I managed to do it. And as I'm doing this now, it's currently 9.58 at night. Don't know whether it's p.m. or a.m. Um, but... Yeah, either way, uh, it's night time for me, <clears throat> and I'm probably going to be going to bed soon. And about the... Um, <clears throat> my uploading schedule. I, like I said, I'm going to try and upload a video every three weeks. <clears throat> but that may not mean I'm going to upload it right as it turned three weeks. But I most definitely am going to upload it before the third week is over <clears throat> and try and keep that schedule. And as for the Megalania, he's awesome. He can definitely do all that stuff you probably heard he could do. Which is... Climb on walls? Well, vertically, horizontally, he can even bend and twist on the walls. <clears throat> but this guy is definitely not a battle team. It's very, very weak. I'd say only use the Megalania for mm, upside down taming. Like, if there's a dinosaur you want to tame, but it's a little too strong, you can use the Megalania to climb on top of walls, get out of its reach, and shoot it from there. That would make things certainly a lot easier. <clears throat> also, I changed my very first griffin. Yeah, that was awesome. I named the griffin, well, I had a little help from some Tumblr friends. And, and with that, I named the griffin Goliath Hurricane. You're going to see that probably in the video after the Iquis one. <clears throat> but, <clears throat> at the moment, you're watching this. <laughs> and let's see, the Megalania is almost tamed. I think he just has to eat that last raw mutton. And he will be mine. I've already got the saddle for it, prepped and ready. Yep, only one wrong button. And there we go. So yeah, I'd suggest if you want to do this tame, do it as quick as possible. Either do kibble or raw mutton. <clears throat> depending on the tame, or I mean depending on the level, well, it depends on how much mutton you're probably going to want to bring. My mutton nearly went bad and worked right as I was trying to tame this thing. But as you can see, I was only 1% away from untaming it, so I just threw some raw meat in there. <sighs> Sorry, it's the lining. <clears throat> anyway, <clears throat> let's see. And I'm probably going to build a taming pin. Uh, good chance I'm not going to do a recording of that. And for the time being, until I can figure out my uploading studio, the videos are not going to be 10 minutes, or at least not entirely. I'm going to try to make them as long as I possibly can, and do these as much as I can. Let's see, what else? Hmm. Ah. Um, yeah, I got a fabricator. And with any luck, I'm going to start crafting some scuba gear. Can any of you tell me what level I need to be to craft scuba gear? 